I want to discuss the standard uncertainty for a uniform distribution. What on earth is a uniform distribution and why should I know about that? Right, now let's go back to the example with the bananas and let's say we use our kitchen scales and we record a value of 99 grams for this rather monkey looking banana. Now, in this case, what we see is the recording 99 grams of the display and the, this display very clearly depends on how good the kitchen scales are. So very clearly it shows everything to the last number here, so that would be the unit position unit position here and that gives us an indication that the kitchen scales can measure everything to one gram. Now of course we don't know exactly what the weight of the banana is because the kitchen scales obviously do some rounding so the banana could be anywhere between 98.5 grams which would give us 99 gram in the display or it could be just shy of 99.5 grams which also would give us a display of 99 grams and what we see here is that this difference between the lower and the upper value for potentially the banana is what is called the resolution. This is the resolution and this difference is one gram. So the kitchen scales have a resolution of one gram and are the true value for the banana could be anywhere between these 98.5 and 99.5 grams. We have no idea where exactly the true value is, but we know that it must be between 98.5 and 99.5 grams. And this, for the specialists, would follow a statistical probability distribution of a uniform distribution that's uniform distribution here and we can write basically the value for our banana so we can say the weight of the banana plus minus our uncertainty and we are going for a standard uncertainty standard uncertainty and for the uniform distribution, the standard uncertainty is defined as resolution divided by 2. So that's basically one part of this branch here, times 1 over square root 3. And this 1 over square root 3 just simply comes from this standard uncertainty. It doesn't have anything to do with a standard error or something like that. This is just simply a, a, a mathematical concept which we can uh, discuss later on. So we can say for our weight plus minus the uncertainty, we've got the weight plus minus resolution divided by 2 times 1 over square root 3. So in our case we can now report the weight of the banana plus minus the standard uncertainty standard uncertainty and we can indicate that that we used a uniform distribution now it's always good to write that down so that people are absolutely clear about it. So we had 99 grams plus minus half of the resolution. So that would be 1 gram divided by 2 times 1 over square root of 
3, and it's always square root of 3 for a uh, uniform distribution. And if we put that into a calculator, we get for this 0 0.288, I think, 8 grams. So that would be our standard uncertainty. And of course, we need to make sure that we report things uh, in the right format. So we know that we should report a standard uncertainty or any uncertainty only to one significant figure. Significant figure. So in this case, we would say the first significant figure is this one here. We would round up and we therefore would report it as plus minus 0 0.3 grams. So that's our uncertainty. Now our significant figure, or our, we report the uncertainty to the first decimal place first decimal place and therefore we need to report our measurement also to the first decimal place. Well, we don't have a decimal place here in our 99 grams, but we need to report it. So we would write it as 99.0 plus minus 0 0.3 gram. So that would be the correct form or how to report here the weight of the banana that we measured using a uniform distribution. Now, when should we use a uniform distribution? Uniform distribution should be used when we don't know anything about the position of our measurement. And uniform distribution should be used when we, for example, use a digital display digital display like we had with the kitchen scales. If we use an analog display, we use a different uh, distribution as I will explain in the next video.